indulge me, I'd like to share a story. I'm thinking, what does this have to do with Reverend Reynolds? Please allow the First Lady to speak. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. The story um, uh, concerns a, a young man in Virginia. He was not a member of a church. He worshiped crack cocaine. He and his woman were totally addicted. The woman had a very bad reaction to the drugs and slipped into unconsciousness. The young man feared that she would die. So he ran for help. He found in a church where a visiting minister offered his assistance. And he and that minister took that woman to the hospital and most likely saved her life. She remained in a coma for about three weeks. And every day, that minister and that young man they prayed for her. The minister also, he prayed for that young man because he too was fighting against his own habits and suffering from withdrawals from his own addictions. Now we all know God is good, amen? amen. And we all know that he answers prayers, amen? amen. And in two weeks, that young man conquered his addictions and found the Lord. The young man went home to his woman, but his woman was not ready. And just as he was praying for her to please put down the drugs and follow the Lord, she was praying to him and begging him to put down God and get back to partying. The young man knew that he was in danger of losing his life. And so he asked that minister, could he go with him back to his own church? Of course, the minister said yes. So he left his woman and followed the path that the Lord has set before him. Yeah. Now the minister, he had a child. She got pregnant. Even worse, she had so many men, she had no idea who the father of the baby was. As you can all figure out right now, that the young man I am speaking of is our very own pastor, Bishop T.K. Wilson. The minister was my father and the wayward child was me.